Okay, so we have the files downloaded. Now all we need to do is actually attach them inside of the HTML file. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this index.html. So let's go ahead and minimize our browser. And um, I'm going to open up the index.html, which I already have open inside of, um, inside of Sublime Text. Now from here, I'm going to link my files. Now the first file that I want to link to is my CSS. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, come down here and I'm going to attach the CSS file. Now I do this by typing in link and in Sublime Text it'll automatically pop open with the relative style sheet uh, text slash CSS and then uh, the href. And so all I need to do with the href is actually type or yeah, type in the path to my CSS file. Now because I have my CSS just kind of in the main directory, all I need to do is just actually come over here and copy that CSS name and then go ahead and paste it right inside of that uh, inside of that area. That's as simple as that. So now if I come down to the next link, now I can go ahead and I can attach my JavaScript files. Now the way that I attach my JavaScript files is just by typing in scripts. Now the script will automatically, if I hit enter inside of Sublime Text, add the type text slash JavaScript, which is what I need. But I also need a source attribute because this is going to be the path to my JavaScript file that I'm going to be bringing in. So I'm going to type in SRC, which stands for source, and I'm going to go ahead and within my source, I'm going to type in the path to my JavaScript file. So I'm going to go ahead and first of all, let me attach to the jQuery mobile JavaScript copy that and I just clicked it once in order to rename it but then I just copied the text there and you can just if you wanted to uh, right click click on rename if you're on a PC or if you're on a Mac you can just go to get info and then uh, copy the text from here so just a couple different ways to copy that text so we've attached our jQuery mobile content now let's go ahead and attach our um, our just regular jQuery content as well so we're gonna do the same thing SRC equals and then within quotes we're going to copy or attach the jQuery uh, JavaScript as well so I'm going to just paste that in and now we're good to go now I can start typing in my content we'll talk about what a page is but just so you um, in a later video but just so you can see let's go ahead and just copy in a page one page of content let's just go ahead and preview this to see what it looks like here now, one thing that I messed up on is if I double click on this index.html file, you can see that really nothing has taken place. Now, the reason why is because I actually attached my jQuery last. Now, in order for jQuery mobile to actually uh, be visible and not jQuery or to be the more dominant one is you actually need to attach your jQuery, just regular jQuery first. And so that way, if I hit save, and I just moved it up and hit preview. Now I have my jQuery mobile and I can tell um, because my content, here's my header, here's my content area, and here's my footer. And uh, these header bars and these footer bars, just by typing in this code inside of the body, uh, give me a jQuery mobile page. And we'll talk about what a page is uh, in a later video. But that's at least lets me know that uh, everything is working. jQuery mobile is uh, up and going. So now I can start actually building content inside of my HTML file. So that's how you download the code. And if I needed to uh, at a later time, I can always come back into jQuery mobile and I can access that if I'm on the jQuery site, I can access it by clicking on these little square icons and then coming down and downloading the latest stable. And then if I, let's say they come out with a version 1.5, then I just copy in the CSS JavaScript files. Let me get rid of that one. But I copy in the, the JavaScript CSS files and then the latest jQuery files into here, come into my HTML content, and then just go ahead and update the path to this. If I decide I want to add some uh, or create a folder, and let's just call this uh, JS, and this will stand for the JS files. If I want to keep all my JS files together, I can copy that inside of my JS folder. But now I need to come into my JS, my HTML, and any JS file, JavaScript file that I have, I need to add the path of JS slash, and that will let me know, or let um, jQuery know that that's where they can find, actually the HTML file, that's where they can find the JS file in there. So the code still works once I run it, but um, I'm just kind of structuring my content in a way that makes a little bit more sense. So let me also create a new folder called CSS and then just place my CSS file inside of there and then I can come into uh, my HTML file 
and I'm just going to type in CSS slash right before my CSS file. If I wanted to create my own CSS file, I could also do that and place it inside of my CSS folder. But this gives my starter project a little bit more, uh, it looks a little bit cleaner when I have my JS files in one location, my CSS in the other location, um, and any images or uh, any contents that I'm going to be bringing in, I would have it in that folder as well. So that's how you set up and attach your JavaScript and your CSS files in order to get started with jQuery Mobile.